Hello, this is Huyan Kim. Our study is about design spaces of news article thumbnails that include visualizations. We investigated thumbnail designs that support both interpretability and appeal. As online news increasingly include data journalism, there is a corresponding increase in the incorporation of visualization in thumbnails. However, Little research exists on the design rationale for these thumbnails that appear within the body of the associated article. In this paper, we aim to understand these design choices and determine what makes a visualization thumbnail inviting and interpretable. We first surveyed visualization thumbnails collected online and discussed thumbnail practices with data journalists and news graphic designers. We then defined the design space for these thumbnails and conducted a user study with design variations. To better understand current practices in visualization thumbnails, we collected examples from data journalism outlets. The first three authors called the strategies for generating thumbnails from the original article, such as resized, cropped, or modified. We also coded chart components by combining and extending the previous classifications. This is the result of 67 thumbnails we collected and codified by our classifications. We found there's different strategies by news organizations and by chart types. For example, online news organizations tend to newly generate the thumbnails while traditional ones resize or crop the original chart. Line charts tend to remove axes and add highlights. We also engaged in informal interviews with six visualization designers. We asked two things. One was about the intentions when they designed thumbnails for the news articles. The other one was about challenges when they tried to put visualizations in their thumbnails. For the design intentions, the practitioners mentioned that they want to draw readers' attentions, so they try to utilize artwork into the thumbnails. They showed concern that the visualization can be code or give away too much content when it is incorporated into the thumbnail. Based on the survey results and our interviews, we defined a visualization thumbnail as a thumbnail that includes one or more visualizations. Two perspectives of this definition exist, and each leads to different thumbnail design goals. The designer's final goal is to make readers click their thumbnails, which is not much different from image thumbnails. However, for readers, their goal is to select the best matching article for their interest. In an ideal scenario, these two goals are the same. However, we found that there are cases in which practitioners do not design visualization thumbnails to simply meet readers' needs, because they also need to consider user click count. In this paper, we try to understand how to design visualization thumbnails to merge both of these perspectives. We are looking for a middle ground where visualization thumbnails are both visually appealing as well as representative of the underlying article. We formulated two research questions regarding what design types readers would most likely click to read and why, and what the readers think of the components in visualization thumbnails. To answer these questions, we conducted an online user study. We defined four design types of thumbnails. Each design type consists of the combinations of chart components which reflect the thumbnail designs of news organizations. For example, we called resize type when the thumbnail is just minimized from the original visualization. GNRD type is the one that gives artistic feeling by adding graphics. Highlight type shows the visualization with emphasized part by boxes and data labels. HRO type includes icons or logos with visualizations in their thumbnails. With careful considerations of picking news articles and controlling chart components, 
we generated 16 thumbnails which varies in four design types and article types. For the experiment, we created a web page where readers could browse news articles with thumbnails. After reading the instructions, the participants entered the web page and clicked on an article that they wanted to read. They were asked to write a reason for their choice. Finally, participants were asked a consistency check question and then end of session. We performed statistical tests to determine the most popular thumbnail type and reasons stated by participants for their choice. Then we conducted qualitative analysis that investigated the reader's opinions on the components of the visualization thumbnails. We used chi-square tests to confirm the thumbnails were selected differently. We also used the Thurstonian model to analyze the differences in user selection among thumbnail types. To figure out the reasons for thumbnail selection, we used a bottom-up approach for thematic analysis with three cultures. Our results showed that significant preferences among the four thumbnail types. It shows that readers are likely to prefer highlight and natural thumbnails more than those from resized and GNRD thumbnails. The main reasons for selecting the visualization thumbnail fall into two categories, inviting and interpretable. For inviting category, the readers choose a thumbnail because it was eye-catching or aesthetically pleasing. Some readers reported that they choose a thumbnail because it was informative or storytelling. The main selection reason for thumbnail types was varied. Resized and highlight thumbnails were chosen because they are informative and thumbnails with GNRDs and HROs are mostly chosen by their eye-catching property. We found that access information can make thumbnails reliable. However, participants did not use the access for interpretation, showing almost same descriptions with thumbnails with no access. This illustrates why resized thumbnails do not attract readers' preference. They present too much information for the reading chart. We also found that combining multiple components can be a good strategy to achieve both appeal and interpretability. Participants described how they understand the highlight thumbnails directly referring to the data label. The red flags for presenting time ranges and data labels not only drew readers' attention to specific data points, but also made readers curious about the article's context. Imagery components such as GNRDs and HROs were effective in engaging readers and drawing their attention. Participants described GNRDs were much more visually engaging and also described HROs' role as attention grabbers, saying the logo is recognizable and eye-catching. Though both GNRDs and HROs attract readers, Participants' interpretation of them may differ in visualization thumbnails. Participants with HROs tend to intuitively understand the visualization using them as visual lessons. This supports previous work of data redundancy by conveying meaning combined with text. Incorporating human photos in charts could be inspiring but may lead to open interpretations we observed that the meanings of human photos might be accepted differently by readers. Our findings indicate that thumbnail design can be aided by understanding chart components' roles. For example, GNRDs, HROs, and highlights can help thumbnails inviting, while access, implicit lessons, and data labels can help thumbnails informative. We also find that data labels with highlights and HROs with implicit lessons can work for both inviting and interpretable in the visualization thumbnails. As thumbnails present stories, readers expect to quickly and easily catch the key information of the story by viewing the thumbnails. 
we noticed that chart titles and data labels help readers to catch the article's key messages, making a thumbnail more interpretable. Chart titles should summarize the entire chart to help readers get a quick and intuitive understanding of the thumbnails. Data labels can be critical design points that can help readers access the detailed but concise information of the article. We confirm that readers also expect to see a thumbnail that is attractive enough to draw their attention and invite them for further clicks. Many readers first catch images or highlights in thumbnails and then become interested enough to explore the data and read the article. Incorporating highlights and images in thumbnails is a promising strategy for drawing the reader's attention to the thumbnail. Highlights make a part of the chart stand out among other components and draw readers' attention to the story. Visual embellishment can be also used for eye-catching purposes, but we suggest that using photos with cautions because it is possible that they can mislead readers. As our work is the first study on visualization thumbnail design, there are still unanswered questions. For example, a future study may investigate the possible effects of different thumbnail sizes on different computing platforms. Measuring the perceived helpfulness of visualization thumbnails is an important issue as it determines news organizations' trust and reliability. This is the end of my presentation, and thank you for listening.